welcome to the February the 9th, 1993 taping of It Happened in Grand Prairie as we bring you the history of Grand Prairie, Texas and some of the people that were responsible for making that history. This is our history tape number 188 and we are highly honored today. We have a very special lady with us and we're going to introduce her in just a moment but in our celebration of Black History Month, we are pleased to raise our wonderful Evening Chapel, AME Church of Grand Prairie. They are celebrating their 78th birthday this year, and we want to salute them. This is our Black History Month salute before bringing you an interview with a lady that lives in the community near this very special church. Now this is not where she worships, but I know you're going to be excited about meeting Mrs. Vandine Moore, Sally Moore. Welcome, Sally. Thank you. We're just so excited about finally catching you long enough <laughs> to get you on the dais. And it's been a, a long time coming and we're just delighted to bring this today. And first of all, we'd like for you to look out into your camera and we'd like for you to establish your genealogy. Tell about your grandparents and your parents and, and your family and just a little bit about the real Sally Moore when she was a very young lady and maybe where she went to school when she was in elementary and et cetera. It's all <laughs> yours, Sally. That's been too long ago. Yes, it has. <laughs> my, um, my mother's parents um, were born, both born in the Navasota Anderson County area. Mm -hmm. They were of the Thomas White family. My grandfather on my mother's side was Thomas White. My grandmother was Sarah Burks White. Uh, they eventually moved to Waco. My father's parents were from Brenham, Texas. They moved to Waco when my father was about six years old. Mm -hmm. They eventually moved back to Brenham, but all of their children were born in Waco. Mm -hmm. That is where my father met my mother uh, in Waco, Texas, and that's where I was born. Oh, wonderful. Uh, they attended school together and eventually became husband and wife and parents of four fine children. Okay. Um, when I was very young, I attended East Waco Elementary School, but before that I went to pre-primer and first grade at the Oliver Heights School, then moved to a different location, 1014 Pecan Street, and attended East Waco Elementary School through my elementary years. Went to Moore Junior Senior High School, where I graduated from high school in 1950. Uh, mm -hmm. From there, I matriculated college. All right, now, all right, now we already have you to college, and I'd like to get back now with your parents. Um, uh, what your uh, father did for a living and what Sally did as a young lady in attending these schools and did you have favorite teachers, favorite mentors? Tell us about Sally as a, a very young lady. <laughs> well first I'll start with the first question that's where my father worked. Mm -hmm. uh, my father was a longtime employee of the Veterans Administration Hospital as a psychiatric assistant in mm -hmm. Ward 92, mm -hmm. where he retired after about 33 years in government service. He mm -hmm. also on the side worked an extra job, especially when Eddie and I were in college to make extra money at the Waco Country Club. He also owned a truck in addition to a car, and so he did light hauling from time to time during his two off days during the week. And so that's how he was able to provide what I think was a good solid Christian home life for us. Some of the activities I participated in as a young person was first of all my, my church, Tolliver Chapel Baptist Church and all of its youth activities. Mm -hmm. uh, we lived about a half a block from the YWCA where we mm -hmm. more or less made our second home. Mm -hmm. We took tennis lessons and participated in the uh, Blue Triangle, YWCA, Y Teens, and all the organizations related to the Y. We were bluebirds when we were little girls. Mm -hmm. We grew up um, also living very near the um, recreation center on Forest mm -hmm. Avenue, not far from my home, about midway between my street and uh, Paul Quinn College. 
there were no, a number of activities that we were able to participate in because we lived in a college town. Baylor University yes. was there and the elementary students were quite often uh, afforded uh, field trips to the university to see certain plays and uh, singers and et cetera. And it's my pleasure to be exposed at a very young age to the arts through the offerings there as um, a substitute for the instructional program in the East Waco Elementary School as well as more junior, senior high school. I'd, there was like, also I'd like for you to, first of all, I continue that in a moment, but we have not established your mother and father's name. We got your grandparents. Okay. But would you give us your mother and father's name and your brothers and sisters, uh, or those uh, other three children other than okay. Sally, and then we're going to go back to this wonderful story. My father is uh, was uh, is named Edward Johnson, and um, I brought along a the best photo that I could find at the at All the right. moment of him. Let's when he was receiving an award at the Veterans Administration Hospital, and that was when he was completing 25 years of service. I have this picture as well as um, a certificate. All right, let's hold up the certificate next because okay. that way we can... That's a service award. That's his service award. Yes. Oh, that is wonderful. My mother is Lily Mae White Johnson, who resides with me and, and has since my father passed away in 1981. This is my beautiful mother, Yes, and uh, who is pretty active in the community. She participates with the Senior Citizens Organization at the Community Center, as well as the Dow West Senior Citizens, as well as the um, singers there at the Recreation Center with Mrs. Johnny Stanton. They go to nursing homes from time to time, and when she's feeling okay, she's pretty active in the community. She's always been an active mom. She kept us very busy as as uh, young girls growing up in Waco, Texas, in our community. My other sisters are uh, Congresswoman Eddie Bernice Johnson, of which we're very proud. Yes. My younger sister is Lee Helen Willis, who resides in Houston, Texas. Uh, we call her the brain of the bunch. Yes. She's a very bright young woman who has blazed a trail, we think, there. She's a graduate of Baylor University in Waco, Texas as well as the University of Texas Health Science Center and Public Health Administration. She followed in the footsteps of my dad. She's employed as a supervisor at the Veterans Administration Hospital in Houston, Texas, and that was after working at MD Anderson for about 10 years before she went back to college and um, on a grant and received her higher education degree. All right. And then there's Carl Edward Johnson, my brother, who came along quite some time after I was born uh, who is a teacher and coach in Dallas a school yes. system. Mm -hmm. uh, he's pictured here with my mom. Okay. He is the, um, the youngest. the baby? He's the youngest. Yes, yes. <laughs> he's the baby. And okay. he's the father of two children. I just happened to have brought their pictures along. Let's show and tell those, shall okay, we? Okay, Carlton Jamar Johnson, his uh, son, is a freshman this year at McLennan County Junior College in Waco, Texas. The children reside with their mother in Waco. Yes. And, uh, Cal, we call her, her name is Kanisha Jacal Johnson, is a ninth grade honor student at Waco High School in the ninth grade, and she plays in the band, the concert band. And she's, we're real proud of both of these young people. Okay, let's have some more show and tell. Okay. The rest well, of I our family. Well, I brought along my, uh, my number one support staff, and that's um, Van Dean Moore, my husband, who is pictured here when he received his 30-year award from Southland Financial Corporation. He's fully vested in that company before they sold to several other companies. He's now with um, Trans Western Property Managers, but he's fully vested with Southland Financial Corporation, and he was pictured here receiving his award at a special dinner that was held in his honor. All right, and you and Van have been married low how many years? Let's see, since 1953. 1953, yes. and it's, this is 93, so we can subtract <laughs> and do real well with that. Sally, that, that is wonderful. Congratulations. Thank you. This is one of your uh, zero anniversary years, <laughs> That's isn't right, it? it oh, is. Oh, that's great. <laughs> and, of course, um, we're going to let you name the rest of your family now that we have you and uh, Van married. Would you like to tell us how you met Van? And uh... Well, we were college students together at Paul right. Quinn College. His um, family originated in Wortham, Texas. All right. But when his uh, sister graduated from Purview and was uh, moved to Waco in a job there, 
uh, she established a home and, and uh, there in Waco and his mom would visit between Grand Prairie, Wortham, mm -hmm. and Waco. He is from a long uh, list of um, a family of teachers and other professionals and um, upon graduating from high school he came to Paul Quinn College and that's where we met. I had already met his sister who was one of the supervising nurses in the same building where my father worked at the VA hospital and she was one of the ones to, to introduce us. Oh, I and see. Then he came to Paul Quinn and that's where we, we met. Would you like to name drop his parents? And his parents who um, are both deceased now are Philip Moore Sr. and Annie Jones Moore. His father uh, came from Wortham, Texas and his mother from Fairfield, Texas by way of Meher, Texas. Uh, he has two um, aunts and uncles on both sides still living. He has a 94-year-old uh, aunt and a 92-year-old uncle on his mother's side and on his uh, father's side he has a 90-year-old uncle and a 92-year-old aunt. Isn't that splendid? So he's from a long line of long livers. Yeah, that is true. He was fortunate to have been taught by uh, two aunts in the Wortham School System and his grandfather was a Baptist minister. Oh, that is great. All right, now let's get down to yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'll just, I won't take them in any particular order. All I have right. here a picture of my two grandsons, Gregory Dean Moore II and Preston Andrew Moore. They reside in Plano, Texas with my son and daughter-in-law. All right, you would name drop your son and your daughter-in-law and if you have a picture of them, we want to see that. I do have, that's okay. Gregory Moore and Juna Moore. All right. And uh, <clears throat> I have a number of pictures of them at home. I, don't, I think I picked up one to bring here. This was kind of a special picture that I have right. of them. We took this in the lobby of the Washington Hilton where we, uh, we were in attendance at a gala during the uh, installation ceremony in Washington for my sister. And I thought it was kind of special to bring this along with some other pictures that we made at various other activities during the time we visited in Washington for her swearing in. That was an exciting time, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Oh, it was yes. an event that I'm happy that I did not miss. Uh, we had a number of family members as well as friends from Houston, Austin, Dallas, Waco to attend. There were about 150 people and it was quite an affair and an event that I will always cherish. All right, now let's show and tell some more pictures okay. and especially some more grandkids. Well, I have a picture here of um, mm -hmm. Eddie Bernice and her son, Dorrance Kirk the yes. first, uh, at the congressional breakfast that was held during the time we were in Washington. And this is another picture of Preston Andrew, my second grandson. That lives in Plano. That lives in Plano. All right. This picture is one that I think is a very special. I have my mom, the sister who is in Houston, that's Lee Willis, and myself pictured along with a friend from Dallas, Maxine Shelton at one of the galas. Um, I'd like to see you get a picture of all of the girls and your brother and your mother <laughs> as a family portrait. That would be wonderful for, for uh, family history. That's right. Well, I will do that. This is one of my mother along with Eddie and myself. Yes. And uh, we are quite proud of, of that one. This particular one was another affair with, I'm uh, pictured here with several cousins and other friends. This is one with my daughter-in-law and two grandsons at one of the um, installation breakfasts, yeah. the congressional breakfast. And this is one with, we can barely see Peter Woolfolk, who is the administrative assistant and, and uh, press relations director for mm -hmm. Eddie Bernice and myself, and Eddie's daughter-in-law, Sandra. Yes. That's Kirk's wife. And this particular one, of course, I think my grandson might have been the photographer, but I have my daughter-in-law and Eddie and myself. You can just see a tip in of Sandra and my mom pictured <laughs> also. <laughs> this is one of the, um, the look-alikes. This is my sister and myself, Eddie Bernice, at the, um, the gala. And they could swear you in very easily <laughs> for Eddie Bernice uh, if they did not know. We're about a year and seven months apart. Yes. We, had, we made a number of pictures. We took advantage of um, the daytime hours to, to get in a lot of the sightseeing see, with, um, with the boys. Here we have Preston featured at the National Museum of African Art. We covered 
probably about one fourth of the Smithsonian. Yes. You know, it would take a week of <laughs> touring for, for that. Here we have my son Gregory, along with the two boys, Gregory Dean II and Preston, in front of the bus of, of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. there in the Capitol. We thought that was pretty nice to get a picture of that. They visited also the Space and Technology um, Museum. We have a number of pictures from that. There's Gregory and Preston in one of, one of the spaceships. And um, just more of the same. They really were excited about this trip. Uh, here we have my daughter-in-law, Juna, the two boys, and myself featured in the um, Science and Technology a museum. Just more pictures from one of the breakfast uh, affairs. My sister Lee and myself and Ed and her son and mom, daughter-in-law, we all featured here on this small photo. In front of the White House, I guess Gre uh, Helen must have been taking that picture. There's Greg and my mom, and myself and a cousin from Dallas and the two grands in front of the uh, the fence there in front of the White House. Well, I think we have here the, <laughs> the two boys in their Dallas cowboy uniforms. They're standing in the front yard of their, their home. And they didn't get to go to the parade probably today. They were in school. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> they were dressed for the, the gala here mm -hmm. in the, the hotel room. Preston and Gregory. Oh, that's handsome, isn't it? <laughs> they looked so nice that night in their dark suits and bow ties. They were, mm -hmm. they were pretty excited boys. Very elegant. Yes. They are here pictured in front of the Capitol. And this is Gregory in his favorite uh, soccer team uniform. <laughs> and we have David um, Edward. He's named for two grandfathers. This is Eddie's second grandson. The David is from the Reverend Dr. D. Edwin Johnson, who is Kirk's father, and the Edward in his name is for my father. How so wonderful. He's the second boy of Adonis Kirk and Sandra Johnson. Mm -hmm. When Eddie was taking the oath of office from Representative, um, I believe it's Hightower from Houston, her yes. little grandson was there as well, taking the oath. <laughs> that was in the Rayburn building. This particular picture was rather significant. It was the only shot we got of the gathering for the Congressional Black Caucus. And on this picture, we have Judge uh, Leon Hickenbarger and also the, the lady who offered the prayer, and I don't remember her name, once served as assistant pastor of the First United Methodist Church of Dallas. How wonderful. She eventually got an assignment, I believe, up in the Baltimore, Maryland area, mm -hmm. and um, she gave a beautiful, beautiful prayer that morning and featured around her on the picture of some of the other uh, men of the Congressional Black Caucus. You have really taken us on an exciting pictorial tour. Well, these are just, uh, oh, just a few just a of few. the many, 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 many pictures that I have. Let's talk about Sally Moore, the educator, the counselor, the principal, um, the very special lady the teacher. Grand Prairie, Texas. <laughs> yes. I guess once right. a teacher, always a teacher. Yes. And from the beginning, tell us how you, what brought you to Grand Prairie, Texas, well, first and of the all, ladders. My, I guess my in-laws brought me to Grand Prairie. Oh, they right. had relocated here. My father-in-law was with the North American plant. All right. And um, I started, well, I actually, I taught my first year in Slayton, Texas. I had signed a contract that I couldn't get out of. And even though I had moved to Grand Prairie, I had to fulfill that obligation to teach in Slayton, Texas, near Lubbock. But upon uh, starting my teaching career in Grand Prairie, I started and ended with the old Dalworth High School, I see. where for 10 years uh, students uh, graduated from class of 1954-55, 55-56 to 1966. After that, the students went to Grand Prairie High School. I worked as a high school English teacher, government, American history, and world history. Just kind of depended on the enrollment as to how many classes I would have for working in the library one period a day and then acting as a senior counselor slash sponsor. Mm -hmm. 
in a 12th grade school, when you have a limited number of teachers, you do a lot of things. You have to sponsor UIL activities and um, you're a chaperone for many, many, many other activities with the band and certain other organizations that we had there at the Dalworth High School. Okay. So was, was, was that one of the most interesting times you spent when you were counselor at Grand Prairie High School? And who was your principal? Well, the most interesting time, I think, was spent when I was a teacher to start with the high school and end with the high school and to see the success of the many students who went through Dalworth High School. That's wonderful. That was really a gratifying experience because many of these students now do come back for an all-school reunion that's held every other year and you, you get to enjoy their successes and really want to take part for some of them, mm -hmm. take credit for some, but I think those were some good years. Following that, I did spend a good eight years at Grand Prairie High School working for the wonderful Mr. Hobbs Williams, first as an English teacher and then as a counselor. They were very rewarding as well. Uh, the students were wonderful, the, the faculty, the teaching staff, everybody was just great to work with there. A few of the teachers are still at Grand Prairie High School that um, worked there as a teacher and then some that were students uh, when I was working at Grand Prairie High School are now teachers there and in other schools around the district. So those were some rewarding years as well. I enjoyed especially my association with many of the teachers in the English department as well as working on the counseling staff. Mm -hmm. Mr. Williams was just great to work with, to work okay. for. And then and from there I went back to Dalworth and Dalworth. assumed the principalship in the fall of 1975. Did you ever think you would be principal of Dalworth when you were there as a teacher? No. You didn't even I, dream those I, wonderful I dreams. I did not dream those wonderful dreams. Oh, in fact, I enjoyed my uh, counseling so much until I just thought that I would retire as a counselor at Grand Prairie High School. But I was um, tapped for the principalship by uh, Dr. Bradley and was um, mm -hmm. talked into it by Mr. Daniels and mm -hmm. Dr. Bradley. and thoroughly enjoyed those years. Mm -hmm. Didn't really know how much I was missing because I enjoyed secondary students. But little did I know of the joy that comes from working with those little, little ones. Oh, yes. Started the early childhood program and that was just great. Mm -hmm. Those were some mm -hmm. wonderful years. And then after being principal of Dalworth? Moved into director of instruction. All right. Uh, at the central office. From there to assistant superintendent and still doing that. Assistant Superintendent of Instruction, of instruction yes. Curriculum, the world of learning as far as Grand Prairie is concerned. Yes. I think it's very exciting. Now, there's another uh, hat that you wear. You're into your church. I'd like for you to talk about your church, then I'd like to you to talk about uh, the organizations uh, that you serve uh, here in Grand Prairie, and then you have some outreach organizations that I know you're really into. Let's name <laughs> drop some of those, would you? My church, first of all, uh, St. John Baptist Church, where I've been a longtime member. I will say that I spent about 10 years of my uh, church affiliation at the Mount Olive Baptist Church in Arlington, mm -hmm. but I did eventually come back to uh, St. John Baptist Church, where I participate in many of the organizations there. I serve as chairman of the Christian Education Board as well as the announcement clerk and assist in any project that I'm asked to mm -hmm. assist in. We bring a number of educational seminars and programs to the church. I have a wonderful pastor. We have grown tremendously within the last couple of years. And yes, Don is yes, wonderful. Isn't he great? We have gone from about 193 members to nearly 900. We have two services now, and it's just really great and gratifying to see so many of our young people getting involved in the church and becoming very active, using their lives in a very spiritual way. And you've been into the city. You've served the city on a very special commission that I know of, so tell us about that and then get into your clubs. Well, let's see. I didn't list the boards in order, but I've served on any number of them. I guess the last being the... Um, uh, Civil Service, Civil, Service. Com Civil mm -hmm. Service Commission. I've served on the Library Board, the Board of Appeals, the Park Board. Um, I'm sure I'm missing some. I guess it's always been part of my life to offer services to the city. Mm -hmm. Part mm -hmm. of that came from mm -hmm. the involvement I saw in grandparents as well as my parents. It's just that your life was not complete unless you were giving back to the community something. And that's just mm -hmm. always been a part 
Now your clubs and your PTA work, I know they've, they've had you, but I know that you <laughs> were before me in the chairs for Federation of Women's Clubs, and when you really put the hammer down and said, Ruthie, it's your time, <laughs> I had to Seems answer like that call. Seems like at Grand Prairie, we, we recycle everybody yes. through these organizations. Yes. I served uh, um, as president of the Dalworth PTA yes. in 1954, mm -hmm. and I guess in some way I've been involved in PTA ever since. If I was not a very active member, I was certainly was a dues-paying member. And on and, programs. And on programs, you're yeah, right. You bet. A number of programs. Um, I've served as president of Seroptimus International, um, worked with you on the Sesquicentennial Commission, served as president of Federation of Women's Clubs, and I'm on the board now of the Boys and Girls Club mm -hmm. and the DFW Medical Center. Mm -hmm. And serve also as, as one of the board members of the Dallas County Community Action Agency. And we've been fortunate to bring one of our satellite offices yes. with programs here. Mm -hmm. I've always helped uh, with various projects in the city. I guess one of the earliest ones was helping to plan for the Dalworth Library branch that we had yes. out there for a number of years. Work with mm -hmm. Mrs. Romy Stood, Ms. Thelma Holland, Mrs. Chambers, and some others to plan that facility. You helped us with Head Start in yes, Northeast? Yes, Head Start. We got oh, Head yes. Start started in, at, in Dalworth community first about 26 yes. or 27 years ago and then brought one eventually to Burbank Church of Christ building. So we're pleased to be able to serve families in the Dalworth area as well as the northeast part of town. In fact, we have some Head Start programs in our public schools as well. So we, we serve quite a number of children in that program. There have been a lot of projects. I guess one of the earliest ones that Van and I participated in was when we was trying to get a, um, some FHA financing to build a home. And I think Reverend Colley was the first one to, to find out that our area had been redlined because of the conditions of the community. And that's when a core of people pulled together and worked to get the urban renewal program in that area. About 42 Colley. votes. <laughs> Reverend Colley, Mr. Daniels, my husband was a volunteer. He was the one that generally took the sad news to people, telling them what they had to do to fix up their house in order to pass the standards that had been set forth by the housing authority. We have one minute to go, and there's a thousand things that I could talk with you about. I want you to look out into your camera in that one minute and encourage young people. Encourage young people to do their best. I guess the thing that I could say is that if you give your best, you can expect the best. And that's just always been one of my goals is to give of yourself, uh, be available to help in any way that you're asked to encourage and motivate, nurture, and um, just be a very loving, caring person with a lot of integrity and spiritual values. I think those things will carry you a long ways. You've had lots of mentors, and you've been a mentor to many. I thank you for being my mentor in many ways, and thank you for being on our show today. Well, thank you. I've enjoyed it. It's delightful. Thank you. And this is Ruth Jackson reminding you that history is as we, we live, live and, and do. do.